and Banjo and Kazooie. Which, Daisy's mean. The both of them are mean. When they get that that radish or turnip, whatever turnip, you want to call it. Yeah. And it I, I swear it was radish when I was a kid. <laughs> I promise my mama. But it's okay. When you get that turnip combo going, nah. That's, that's, that's devious. That's demon time. It's go time, yeah. Oh, but you know it's also the go time. Benjamin Kazooie is Wonder Ring. Nasty. You got five each stock, 15 clips for each round. And if you're able to really use it to your advantage, that's that's a finisher. It's reactable, but it's a finisher, honestly. Oh, here it is. Already seeing a lot of these uh, these turnips going crazy. Yeah, we're gonna hear a lot of um, item sounds. Which I, I wouldn't really necessarily call Daisy a zoner. Or yeah, even no, Benjo Kazooie. Not. Yeah, no, no. They, they just happen to have some projectiles. Yeah, but not like... I feel like if you have like only maybe one or two projectiles, you're fine. Yeah. If you have seven... Seven of them, or all your specials are specials. Are or all your specials are like, yeah. <laughs> I think that was a stitch. Oh, I... I wonder how Bandos players feel, feel about getting a Wonder Ring instead of a B reverse down B. That grenade. Cause like you, you just lost like a whole wonder like, a whole, the wrong yeah, way. twenty like a whole fifth of your resource. All right, good fair. Hmm, this would be pretty difficult for Bandos to get any like egg confirms due to like floats and yeah. the movement options that Daisy has. That's the thing about Daisy and uh, Peach. They both have that float option, which kind of throws a lot of players when they have to deal with it all of a sudden. Yeah, because like, they, see, they see you coming at an angle, but then, no. But then, like, I'm no. Not. Like, actually, I'm going to sit here, and you're going to be confused. Yeah, I'm over here. Oh, the hair missing. Oh, great. I'm loving these conversions from Blank. You know, she kind of just taking everything and turning it around on Neku. There was originally going to be the tapping from Neku, but Blink was like, nah, I'll do it first, actually. And take a click control center stage while I'm at it. Ooh, trying to get in, actually getting gr Oh, wow. Two grenades and a bear. That egg trip. I've never seen that. The oh, egg? What? Yeah. Oh, trying to, trying to anti air with the up smash, but actually going to miss it because of the grenade. That was a very good movement right there. Back throw, yep. A little close to um, down throw confirms. Alright, you did to get in. Great. Really good on Blank's part. And this is like a really a really good game for Blank. A really good start actually for himself. You know, getting a good, a really good lead on Neku. Himself only you know, a, a, a feasible 109%. He's been reacting very well to the Wonder Wings. Because, you know, it is it's a pretty long startup. It's, it has like a whole chime and everything. So, pretty easy to react to, not get, you know, shambled by it. It's out of nowhere in mid match. And oh, here it is. Here's a yeah, Daisy the tech on the platform. Mm -hmm. Alright, they're trying to plank him with the egg blocking his path. Yeah, trying to answer here with, with um, up, up tilt right there. The Bando doesn't really have a lot of good uh, vertical uh, kill, kill options. Hey, you're right, he really doesn't. He has more of a hook on uh, But you know who does have vertical kill yeah, options? That's okay. Daisy. Oh, that, that was a really good confirm. Good stuff from Blake. I'm telling you, Daisy is scary. Like, you know. It's just the, the turnips is, is something that also is a really big factor if you're able to kind of convert a lot like, or use it as a way to convert into a lot of combos. But also she can has float, she can keep you in the air for a really long time with her own up airs. And she's just, you know, something you got to kind of be really weary of, especially with that, the, I call it the hip thrust. That's what it is. <laughs> it's hip bump. With it's her hip right? bump. I think it's side B, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. she kind of does have a um, back air. Yeah, she does. Yeah. See, multiple hip bumps. <laughs> The one with the flowers in it. Yeah. And she's like, ha cha! And she's like, okay, we get it! Banning. Oh no, they're not banning FD. Hold on. They're banning Smashville and Kalos, but going over to FD. Ooh, with this demonic music. Beautiful. I like the music, guys. How many ages have we seen today? Three. This is the third one now. I sigh. Oh wait, I'm actually surprised he's kind of picking to ages when he's up in- Okay, maybe trying something a little bit new. Beautiful. He's missing the, the last hit, the last hit of Brave of Punishment. But, 
beautiful start for uh, for Blink right now. And honestly, it is, if this is like the a, a counter for um, for Banjo, then dang, it's gonna be not a fun time for Neku. Ooh. Hmm. I haven't seen much before that often. Or at least I've seen it. I just I, I can't really recall. Yeah. Oh yeah. I really like that recall. There's no it's way. Bad. Okay. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Banjo that was a really good read like, earlier. Because like, um, Blank has noticed that uh, neko has been using. Oh, is that a punish? Oh, uh, right. Not gonna pick yet. I noticed that um, Neko has been recovering really high lately, right by the life, and Blank is gonna start capitalizing that with uh, Pyro's uh, good air mobility and her huge hitbox repair. Go in for that. Up. Oh my god, the grenade exactly. actually negated the up air for a little bit and got punished with. Ooh, that's the that guy was a little nice. Stop. Wondering off to the ledge, trying these grenades. Alright, racking up some bonus percentage. Not taking the suck, losing the suck yet. Recovering high. Banjo with multiple jumps, being able to mix up his landing options. A little too early with the, with the fastball fair and, and gonna get punished with the um, Pyro back here. This is it where uh, Mithra gets their damage? Yeah, since so you already Mithra getting a lot of damage right though. You've you, you, you all seen this before, this, uh, this old story. Mithra coming in to get a lot of damage ready and, you know, just waiting a lot. Oh! Very good foresight. Amazing patience on the foresight, just kind of waiting it out, waiting for the egg to come over, using foresight as a way to really come in. Yeah, he really stared at the egg and just like, no. He's like, watch this. That was really smart though, you know, I can be very slow. But very oh! good, that was a very good punish. He's really taking advantage of Pyro's giant um, de um, their hitbox. Oh, I respect that option. He was like, I, screw it, I'm gonna do it. But there's no really, there's nothing that, uh, that Blink could do to really punish that anyway, very far off the stage. I, think, I don't even think there's Blazing Animal done too much to negate it, so. A good, uh, good Hail Mary for Nike right there. Once again, actually getting the foresight. Over to Pyra. Things aren't looking so good for Neko right now. Oh, trying to get that dare one more time, missing the grab right over there. Not getting punished for it. Just into Mithra, back into Pyra again. Ooh. Into upbeat, into game. Missing the DDI there, right, right there also. I, would, I was not for that. Yeah, no, I didn't get that either. Yeah. I wouldn't have DDI'd that. I would yeah. be like, damn, that's crazy. I just got launched to hell. Dude, how'd she get up there? Hey, like how? Where, where'd she go? Where'd she go? Oh, 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 ah! oh I'm dead. Yeah, very, um, very good showing from Blank right there. And versatility as well. Two characters, uh, same round. Did he, they even really need to switch anyway. Nope. Just, just did it because he was like, I think I'm gonna have fun today. I could do it. I could do it today. <laughs> 